The government in Nepal has beefed up preparations to combat the global novel corona outbreak. The government has also requested the public to refrain from holding gatherings and stay away from crowded places. The government yesterday announced that there has been no confirmed cases of corona detected in the country as of yet. Meanwhile, black marketing has intensified recently in the country after the government advised the public to take preventive measures. Good morning, I'm Sarah Sapsanama and these are the top stories of the hour. Traders resort to cheating consumers in the pretext of the shortage of essential goods. Concerned authority remains indifferent towards monitoring and punishing black marketers. The Lalita Niwas land embezzlement case fails to move forward due to corruption. Watchdog CIA is dilly dallying. Individuals accused of corruption evade court hearings. U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren ends her presidential campaign following disappointing Super Tuesday results. Democratic contest now between former Vice President Biden and Vermont Senator Sanders. And Manchester United advanced to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, defeating Derby County 3-0. United to face Norwich City in the quarterfinals on 21st of March. Black marketing has recently intensified in the country in the pretext of suspended imports from China. The presence of the state has remained virtually non-existent at a time when traders have been cheating customers by creating artificial shortages of essential goods. The general consumers too have resorted to hoarding in exchange of exorbitant prices imposed by black marketers. We have a report. The public has started hoarding goods in recent days, fearing a scarcity induced by the global novel coronavirus outbreak. People have substantially increased the purchase of daily essentials, irrespective of the exorbitant prices imposed by traders. The rumor that China has completely suspended the export of essential goods has prevailed among the general consumers, while the Nepalese staple food items like rice and lentils are imported from India. The country does not need to rely on the Chinese export for a majority of food items except for apples and garlic. However, a majority of traders have resorted to black marketing by creating artificial shortages of daily essentials, including LPG and fruits in recent times. Along with traders and suppliers, the retailers are also found to increase the prices on their own. The concerned authority, however, has remained indifferent towards punishing the black marketeers. Meanwhile, the regulatory bodies are confined to holding discussions with their traders rather than carrying out effective market monitoring and penalizing the businesses involved in black marketing. The Commission for the Investigation of Abuse of Authority has shied away from its responsibility on moving ahead with the prosecution regarding the embezzlement of 134 roponies of land in Lalita Niwas, Baluatar. The special court has been unable to conduct a hearing on a single indicted individual due to the negligence of the corruption watchdog. The anti-graft body filed corruption cases against 175 individuals on 5th of February and termed all the defendants as fugitives. Meanwhile, the special court has been keeping the hearing of the defendants on hold. However, none of the defendants have reported to the court. The special court has currently been looking for former ministers Bijay Kumar Gachadar, Chandra Dev Joshi and Dumber Joshi, whom the corruption watchdog had insisted of being involved in the infamous Balwatar land scam. Likewise, the court has sent notices to 74 accused to their homes through their respective district courts after failing to find them. It is feared that the case would take years to be sorted out if the prosecution is to move ahead in the current pace. This is also about to give leeway to the individuals holding high-ranking positions to escape punishment by taking advantage of the sluggish prosecution. And moving on, following the successful kidney transplant surgery of Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli, the public interest on Premier Oli's health status has seen a significant increase. In this context, our reporter Kripal Gautam yesterday talked with senior nephrologist Dr. Prem Raj Gewali, who had led the surgery team. Here are some excerpts. Today, <laughs> प्रगति हेर्दाखेरि 
अझ चार पांच दिन बस्त पर्ला जो आईतवार सोमवार सम्म में सब राम हम डिस्चार्ज कर डॉक्टर जो प्रधानमंत्री को अलग पच्लो अवस्था बताइन जस्तु वहाँ के कति के खानुन जस्तु वहाँ को अभी हिड्यूल कर सकूँ हुन्न वहाँ लोस्त दवाई च चलाइ भोड़े जानकारी है ये तो मैं शायद भन्न मिलेन हो डिटेल में यह कुछ बिरामी को प्राइवेसी हो अलग अब जुनसुक अपरेशन गए भी अपरेशन गए अज चौबीस घंटा भी पुगे छाइन ये तीन जेलसम बिरामी तेत्रो ठूल अपरेशन साढ़े चार घंटासम लगाकर गे अपरेशन हो अल उठर हिंडोल तो करूँ वहाँ तर बस्ने खाने अड़ेस लगने कुरा करने सब कर हम कर सकता उठे चाहिए हिड़न भाग सायद मिलो हम भोलि वहाँ लेड बा नि वार्ड में हिड़ा मृगौला काम कर वहाँ को खाना लाइन हमें अब रिस्ट्रिक्सन करतेन खाना वहाँ लिंक तर वहाँ को शरीर में मैं भोग जागे आरोप भोग जागे आयो खाना खाना दिन मिले वहाँ एंड विद दैट विल शॉर्ट ब्रेक यू हेव मोर न्यूज कमिंग अप Doctors have been prescribing masks and hand sanitizers as preventive measures for avoiding infection from coronavirus. However, traders in Nepalese market are selling masks and hand sanitizers at high prices, citing shortages. It has now become increasingly difficult to buy surgical masks in retail shops. The pharmacies are charging 30 rupees per mask, which was previously available at merely 5 rupees. The black marketing of masks and sanitizers has increased as the government advised the public to take preventive measures following the global spread of coronavirus. The demand for masks in Nepalese market is not new. Masks were widely used in the dusty and polluted valley streets. The demand however has increased in the face of rising fear of coronavirus. There is black marketing in normal masks that are manufactured in Nepal as well. The government has seriously lagged in controlling the ongoing black marketing and provide masks at a cheaper price. Nepal imports surgical masks from China, India and Bangladesh. However, the import has also stopped in recent days. There is a growing call on the government to increase the production of masks in the country itself to curb a black marketing. Time now for the international update. Senator Elizabeth Warren has ended her presidential campaign following disappointing Super Tuesday results. A favorite of the liberal left, the 70-year-old Massachusetts senator was once a front-runner in the Democratic field. Warren said she needed some time to decide whom to support. The Democratic contest to take on President Donald Trump in November is now seen as a two-horse race between former Vice President Joe Biden and Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. Warren's departure is expected to clear the path for Sanders in particular, who is the sole progressive candidate left in the race. Despite early momentum for her campaign, Warren failed to convert enthusiasm into votes in the first primary contest of 2020, not winning a single state. With Warren's departure, a democratic race that began with a record high of female candidates is now effectively left to two male frontrunners who praise her and her campaign. And with that, we have more news coming up, but right now it's time for yet another short break. In our public voice segment, we had asked the locals in Surkhet what should the provincial government do to bring in investment in Karnali. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Public voice. <laughs> पैला यही नहीं रामरो बनाए पश्चिम पर्यटन और वितरण सं प्रदेश सरकार ने नीति बनाऊं दा कार में विशेष छोट उन्हों पर सा अनिमात्र बाहर को पर्यटन और वितरण सक्षम शहर सफाई युक्त शहर ये उटा चाहे निर्माण करें पश्चिम मात्र विदेशी लगानी वितरण सक्षम इट्स टाइम नाउ फॉर अ सेगमेंट पब्लिक पॉल्स वर यू टेक्स्ट अस विथ योर ओपि� and the question is, why has black marketing increased recently? Your options are A, traders' high-handedness, B, indifference of concerned authority, and C, hoarding trend. The voting is on. Type NEWS, select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. Time now for the sports update. Sports News. 
Nepal's last match of the ongoing ACC Eastern Region T20 cricket tournament against Singapore has been delayed due to rain. The match, which was scheduled to start at 8.15 a.m. Nepal time at the Terthai ground in Bangkok, Thailand, has been delayed due to wet outfield. Nepal is playing for pride today as it has already bowed out of the tournament after a poor start. Nepal suffered losses against Malaysia and Hong Kong but won against hosts Thailand. Now, Nepal's home matches for the upcoming FIFA World Cup qualifiers and even the Everest Premier League football tournament are going to be affected by the effects of global novel corona outbreak. Nepal's home matches for the upcoming FIFA World Cup qualifiers have also been affected by the effects of global novel coronavirus outbreak. The scheduled matches under the World Cup qualifiers three weeks later in the capital's Dasrath Stadium have been cancelled for the time being. Nepal was scheduled to take on Chinese Taipei on 26th of March and 31st of March against Australia later this month. However, a meeting on Thursday chaired by Sports Minister Zagat Bisukarma decided to call off all sports activities until further notice. Australia, China, South Korea, Japan, among other nations, have already urged the world football governing body, FIFA, from postponing the World Cup qualifier matches in view of the corona outbreak. Likewise, the upcoming Everest Premier League, the T20 franchise tournament to be held in the capital from 14th of March, has also been cancelled. Some of the star cricketers of the likes of Chris Gale, Corey Anderson, Upul Taranga, among others, were likely to be a part of the Everest Premier League this season. And before wrapping up, here's a look at the top stories once again. Traders resort to cheating consumers in the pretext of the shortage of essential goods. Concerned authority remains indifferent towards monitoring and punishing black marketers. The Lalita Niwas land embezzlement case fails to move forward due to corruption watchdog CIA's dilly-dallying. Individuals accused of corruption evade court hearings. U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren ends her presidential campaign following disappointing Super Tuesday results. Democratic contest now between former Vice President Biden and Vermont Senator Sanders. And Manchester United advanced to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, defeating Derby County 3-0. United to face Norwich City in the quarterfinals on 21st of March. That's all for the moment. Keep watching Kantipur Television HD for more news and entertainment. Have a great day ahead.